Welcome my friends, Seven Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this episode today. I'm continuing working on my cabinet project. Let's roll the intro and get into it. In my last video, I talked about the cabinet I'm putting together, some of the challenges that I had. Read a lot of the comments and several of you had a fantastic idea, something I didn't know about, and that's making a face frame or frame face or something like that. Anyway, it's a, a trim that goes around the front of the uh, outside, which I'd never known about before. I guess I'd seen it in cabinets. So anyway, today I'm going to try to do exactly that and take the advice that was written in the comments. Thank you so much for that and try to do that. This is the top cabinet. It'll go above the countertop. I'm doing an L-shaped countertop for the main countertop. So um, I'm going to do a facing frame around this. Bottom right hand corner here is going to be holding the microwave. So I'm going to avoid that section since it's uh, exactly sized for the microwave. Back here you can see my pancake compressor. I have it slightly inside so I just have to bring the hose out. I absolutely love my Brad nail gun, uh, runs off of the compressed air. It is just so much fun to use and makes the cabinet work that I'm doing here really easy. I'm using wood glue, putting that down first and then securing it with the Brad nails, letting it dry. Here you can see I've done the exterior frame all the way around and now I'm framing in the area right around the microwave. Which so I've got to make sure this slot is exactly the same size because it just gives me like a quarter inch all the way around. Over here you can see the finished face frame. You can see it goes all the way around with the exception of the area around the microwave that I didn't want to block so that'll fit in there nicely. I have two cabinet doors that are going to go in here. One is going to go on the left side all the way top to bottom and the one on the right will go above the microwave up here. I have a slight delay. I've got to go to the hardware store, of course, to get some smaller screws that aren't quite as deep because I'm going into this uh, thin plywood here and I don't want the screws to be sticking uh, a half an inch out of that into my cabinet space and puncturing holes in the food and things like that. This is going to be intended for holding uh, most of my food. It's the next day and I have the screws I need to attach the hinges and I've attached them to one of the two cabinet doors so far and um, I don't know this this is going to be the one that's against the wall and in the corner so I can't do a hinge on the back side. Let me show you. So I'm using these longer hinges now this is facing with the top side up right now so it's actually going to go like this with the hinge on the side of the cabinet down here and that will allow it to open when it's against the wall in the corner at least in theory. A lot of what I do is just sit at night in bed while I'm going to sleep thinking about complications and possible solutions for all sorts of problems everything from plumbing to solar to how to mount hinges or securing something to walls um, all sorts of things that I just sit and ponder and that's one of my joys and passions is sort of the engineering and planning phase not so much the stuff that's the actual execution in a perfect world I would be the planner and manager just sort of engineering the thing and then hire a bunch of uh, I don't know gurus to go in and actually be the worker bees and do the actual project itself because I don't really enjoy that, which I think is probably surprising to some of you. But uh, those of you who know me well probably really understand and, and sort of get that aspect of my personality. For the other door, it's going to be um, towards the refrigerator open side. So it's not going to have anything um, affecting it and restricting it from opening. So I have traditional smaller hinges here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, I have the little hinges installed now. These are going to actually go like this. And then I filled the holes on the plywood with some wood filler. All of the plywood that I'm using, or most of it for these cabinets, is actually repurposed from the side walls inside of my cargo trailer so that I didn't have to buy any more plywood and I could repurpose things. It's not necessarily perfect or beautiful plywood. I'm going to be sanding this and painting it. So in the next video, you're going to see sanding and painting and hopefully installing the cabinets 
Um, I still don't have my countertops that I'm going to put in there. I just have a temporary sheet of very thin plywood to give me a surface to work with. Um, I want to actually get it installed and then have some time to ponder and think on it over the next week or two as I search for actual countertop material. Um, making progress on the cabinets. Hopefully in the next video I'll be doing painting and installing. So excited for that. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment and I'll see you in a future video.